Tonight, with his car covered in blood, a citizen says he's being overlooked by police. Why not get those people now that they can? I mean, there's blatant evidence. Also, will anything get Regina commuters to change their travel habits? There are sometimes people questioning our transitors. And a familiar face signs on to coach the Regina Pats. From Global Regina, the evening news with Jill Morgan. Good evening. While the city is working to raise awareness about crime prevention, one Regina resident is just trying to get the police to pay attention to a crime he says is being overlooked. As Sarah Camry explains, after finding his car covered in blood, he's now finding himself looking for answers to the questions he has for police. My property was violated, and it feels like you know, you're personally violated when that happens. After only two and a half months together, Chad Novak and his dream car are spending some time apart. We came out to the car and I noticed that the driver's side window was smashed out, which I didn't think was a big deal, but I looked and I saw that there was blood left throughout the car. The car isn't just covered in a little bit of blood, but a lot of it. Still, this rare incident didn't seem to raise a lot of alarm with police. Unfortunately, the reaction to me was that they can't come out and take a look at it. They're Low on manpower, it's low priority. The incident took place here just blocks away from the police station. But despite the repeated calls and the close proximity, no one turned up to look at the car. However, police say it's standard procedure. If it is a theft in progress, uh, people should call 911 and police will be dispatched to the scene. But if the attempted theft has already taken place, police wouldn't normally come out to look at the vehicle. Usually it'll be recommended if, the, if there is perhaps evidence or that sense for the person to bring the vehicle in and it can be processed here at Regina Police Service. But since Novak couldn't drive the car, he took it upon himself to take photos and videos of the damage in case the police needed it for their investigation in the future. I was really disappointed that I had to do a lot of the research on my own. Novak was also hoping the blood would link someone to the crime. With close to a pint of blood spread throughout his car, he he was certain the police could tie the crime to someone he suspected would have gone to the hospital. With that amount of blood, the person had to seek medical, medical attention. The police, unfortunately, told me that not always do they, they get the medical attention they need. Novak says if it was a typical break-in, he would understand, but feels the car is full of evidence that deserves attention. Get them now before they get into the bigger crimes, and we won't have as many uh, issues in the city. While this crime is under investigation, ultimately Novak says the incident has damaged more than his car. And now that this has happened and the police's reaction to it, that has changed my whole outlook on how safe I am in this, not just in that area, but in the city in general. Sarah Kemry, Global News. A horrible